Hi, my name is Ella, and accompanying me here is Hope. During our presentation, we will be comparing the countries, Australia and Malaysia, and we will be explain, explaining how they can be similar but different at the same time. Culture. The main culture of Australia is Western culture, but, it, but has also developed and evolved from British culture. Although Australia's culture has greatly shown its inspiration from British culture, there is also a diverse input of Aboriginal culture, Torres Strait Islander, and much more Australian people. However, more cultures have been influenced throughout Malaysia than Australia. The cultures in Malaysia are Chinese culture, Indian culture, Persian culture, Arabic culture, and British culture. As you can see, Australia and Malaysia have both taken an impact from British culture. Tradition. Anzac Day is when Australians commemorate those who died in World War I. This special day is celebrated with puppies, which represent the battlegrounds which where they fought on. They also have marches held early in the morning. Another celebration is Australia Day, which is celebrated which is celebrated as the start of Australia's Federation. Malaysia, like Australia, is a multicultural country who all have unique traditions. But, but there are traditions that most Malaysian people follow, such as attending prayer at a mosque at noon on Friday due to Islamic costumes. Another Malaysian tradition is the clothing that they wear, which is also due to Islamic laws. For men, the clothing is called a baju malua and a small hat called a kopia for church. And for women, it is called a baju karab. Population. Australia's, in, Australia's population in 2017 was 24,450,561. However, this year, 2018, the population is now 24,772,247. On the other hand, Malaysia's population in 2017 was... 31,624,264. But now in 2018, the population of Malaysia is 32,042,458. This means that Malaysia has a larger population by at least 2 million. Natural landmarks. The Blue Mountains has many attractions, such as the lookout point to see the Three Sisters, Wentworth Falls, and Katoom Botanic World. Despite its name, the Blue Mountains, it is actually an uplifted hill that was formed over 50 million years ago. More than 4 million people come to visit the Blue Mountains per year. This benefits the tour services because they earn over 40 million a year. Patu Caves is a limestone hill which has several caves and, a, and temples and has a huge Maragon statue which is a statue of a Temi god of war. The Patu Caves were formed over 40 million years ago. Around 1.5 people come to visit Batu Caves. Man-made landmarks. A theme park in Australia is SeaWorld. SeaWorld has a, has a selection of rides and marine life and is located in the Gold Coast. 1.3 million people come to visit the SeaWorld, SeaWorld yearly. Legoland in Malaysia has over 40 fun rides. Legoland has around 1.5 million visitors and can make more than 100 million a year. Employment. The number of employed people in Australia increased to 12,480.48,000 in February of 2018 from 12,462.97,000 in January of 2018. Although in Malaysia, the number of, of employed people decreased to 14,000. 366.80,000. This happened in December of 2017. This means that the number of employed people is larger in Malaysia.
the number of the, the number of unemployed people in Australia increased to 734.08 thousand in February of 2018 from 725.22 thousand in January of 2018. The number of unemployed people in Malaysia also increased but to 514.10 thousand in January of 2018 from 505.80 thousand in December of 2017. As a result, there are more unemployed people in Australia than, than Malaysia. Climate. Climate change has affected the whole world, but here are some changes that occur in Australia. 85% of Australian citizens live near coastal regions. Climate change risks these Australians because of the risk of rising sea levels, which could, which could bring floods to low-lying residential areas. The highest temperature in Australia has been 50.7 Celsius. The coldest has been 88.0 Celsius. Malaysia has reached about 2% on rainfall due to climate change. In 2007, reports were given that Malaysia will be experiencing heat waves and heavy rainfall more often. The coldest temperature in, in 2018 that Malaysia has reached are 7.8 Celsius. The hottest that Malaysia has reached has, has been 40.1 Celsius. Thank you for listening. I hope you all learned about the difference and similarities between Australia and Malaysia. Which do you prefer, Australia or Malaysia?